Hi everyone, uh, Pedro here at the cavern, or the, what is slowly becoming the non-cavern. As you can see, there are gaps now on the shelves. You can see the back of the shelves because I've started packing everything up to uh, move because we've got a flat. Um, just wanted to uh, do this video quickly because uh, Lee over at Nerdy, Ge uh, Nerdy Geezer, fuck that up again, Lee from Nerdy Geezer channel has, um, what's the word, nominated me, I guess, uh, to do a video uh, response to his community question, which is, what is your favourite genre of film? Which is an interesting, um, it's an interesting question because as a film fan, I love all different types of movies, but there are two, uh, two genres that I hold dearest to my heart and uh, one of them is what Lee chose and the other one is um, what I'm going to choose. Uh, so Lee chose action. Now I love action movies. I have every single Jean-Claude Van Damme film. Um, just my action movie collection is, is huge. I don't know if you can see, I'll try and show you. I don't know, the wrong way. Ah, there we go. So all the DVDs that are up here, uh, majority of them are um, action movies, uh, apart from Friday the 13th movies. But, um, yeah, so my action uh, my action collection is massive. I, I love action cinema. Uh, and it's just the thing that I grew up on from watching the, um, the Arnold Schwarzenegger movies and the Sylvester Stallone movies in the 80s and the 90s. And then... All the action stuff that came out in the nineties, like Face Off and and uh, Broken Arrow, uh, just amazing shit that came out. But I'm not choosing action. I'm not choosing action. I'm going to choose my favourite genre of cinema, and this is a genre that um, the reason I'm choosing it is because there are moments throughout my life that. Um, I've sort of been pivotal. I, I, I suppose this genre kind of hits pivotal moments in my life. I say pivotal. It's not really pivotal moments, but they're the moments that, like, I remember seeing these films uh, more than the first time I watched, uh, I, I don't know, uh, First Blood. The, the genre is going to be science fiction. My favourite genre of cinema is science fiction. Uh, that can be a bit all over the place sci-fi can because it is science fiction so it can incorporate lots of different sub um, genres like post-apocalyptic movies like sci-fi horror um, there is hard science fiction there is soft science fiction there is just a, a massive monster movies but like atomic monster movies which would be science and fiction and horror it's a very difficult genre to to nail as one specific genre. Um, so, yeah, so science fiction is my favourite uh, genre. It always has been, ever since I was the tiniest of tiny people uh, as a little kid. I say as a little kid, and I do that. That's almost the same height as me, and I'm 5'11". So ever since I was a little child, about yay big, probably even smaller, um, yeah, sci-fi was, was always it. I mean, I grew up in a household where my... My mum was a sci-fi nerd. My dad was a fan of old 1940s and 1950s Hollywood. So I grew up watching the musicals and and like the old black and white 1930s and 1940s John Wayne westerns. Those were the films that we watched from my dad. But from my mum, it was always Star Trek, Star Wars, E.T. Uh, just science fiction. She loved sci-fi. She read lots of sci-fi fantasy novels. So she would always get us a sci-fi movie and stuff. So sci-fi is always, always going to be my favourite genre. So there's reasons why sci-fi is my favourite genre. And reasons, when I was saying, like, pivotal moments. <coughs> They're not necessarily pivotal moments. But there are moments that I remember in... Right, periods in my life, I guess, where science fiction has uh, sort of stuck with me more than say action movies so first being star wars star wars was huge for me when i was a child when i was a kid 
So I remember watching A New Hope for the first time when I was probably about three or four years old, and then Empire Strikes Back, and then, um, <coughs> and then uh, what was the other one? Return of the Jedi. I'm just getting over a horrible cold as well, by the way, which is why. Sorry, Lee, this has taken me a while to do because I, I've been stuffed up and bunged up and everything for the last week or so. Uh, so, yeah, Star Wars was a big thing for me when I was a kid. I mean, I'm wearing a Spaceballs t-shirt at the moment, so which is a parody of Star Wars, which is... Mel Brooks was a fucking genius. But there's other things, like Mad Max, the Mad Max movies. Like, I remember watching Mad Max on VHS and then on like a small 14 inch TV movie, uh, TV screen as a child on, I think it was ITV did a centenary year thing for uh, Australia where they showed the original Mad Max movie. And I think they showed like Priscilla Queen of the Desert or uh, maybe Muriel's Wedding or something like that. Cause it was all about Australia. And then there's other films as well. So Independence Day was huge. 1996 Independence Day came out. I saw it three times in the cinema. I love that movie. And then, 2000, Pitch Black. Pitch Black Pitch Black is the first DVD I ever purchased. The first time I bought, well, the first DVD player that I bought, I bought with one film, well, two films, actually. One was Pitch Black. The other one was Little Nicky, which is the Adam Sandler movie. <coughs> so, yeah, so there's something like, like that, like, like Independence Day. Like I said, I saw it three times in the cinema. Jurassic Park, I saw on my 10th birthday. Uh, I saw the Lost in Space movie. Uh, in a cinema with about six other people. I saw Mad Max Fury Road in 3D in a cinema here in Cardiff. And there was one other person at the screening. Uh, I, to be fair, I did watch it during the daytime. But yeah, I, th I remember that. Um, Avatar. I remember seeing Avatar for the first time. Amazing. Uh, Termi the first time I watched Terminator. The Terminator. My mum said, you can watch this film. Um, I was ill, we were up all night, we put it on, uh, and my mind was blown. The first time I'd ever seen, like, Terminator, and she, the bit where Kyle Reese and uh, Sarah Connor, you know, do the, the ar, 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 ar thing and make a little John Connor, she said, don't, don't pay attention to that, it's, it's rude, but just watch the rest of it. <coughs> like, one of the films, and I've said this before, a film that kind of desensitised me to, to, um, screen gore and shit is this film the time machine uh from george powell that, like i grew up on this film this film was watched over and over and over and over again in my house by me and i love it to this day i have it on the premium collection i have it on a region one dd uh region one blu-ray which is at the bottom of the shelves i have the dvd i have russell garcia's soundtrack I adore that film so much. I think Rod Taylor's fantastic in it. So yeah, again, that's another memory of science fiction that I have from when I was a child. And you could say, yes, it's a nostalgia thing. And it is a nostalgia thing because I have more nostalgia for these movies that I watched as a child that I carried on watching as a teen and then into adulthood, which is why science fiction uh, is, is, is the genre that I always go back to. Again, like TV shows as well. If you look at the TV shows that I own, Apart from some uh, British comedy stuff, I own Quantum Leap. I own uh, the entire Back to the Future, uh, not Back to the Future, uh, Battlestar Galactica series. I've got the entirety of Lost, which is, yes, it's science fiction because it's fucking mental. I've got the Ray Bradbury Theatre Collection. Love it. What else have I got? <coughs> Twin Peaks. I know you could you could say Twin Peaks isn't really science fiction. It's more mystery and stuff, but it has an element of science fiction to it. Then we look at the other stuff we've got. So we've got X Men. It's sci fi. Yeah, it's could it's it's comic book, but it's sci fi. Uh, Flash Gordon, Jurassic Park, uh, the Star Trek. Like Star Trek was massive in my house. My mum was a huge Trekkie, so she was massively into Next Generation, and uh, that's uh, again. That's a TV show that we grew up watching in the late 80s and early 90s. Superman, yes, again, comic book, but science fiction. And when I go through the collection and I see all the stuff that I've got, 
like generally it's all sci-fi this move batman so if you look at the premium collection which i bother <coughs> 2010 clash of the titans sci-fi no it's fantasy excalibur again fantasy forbidden planet the golden child fantasy i suppose more fantasy here, really but then you've got the hidden sci-fi you've got Crawl, sci-fi, Logan's Run, sci-fi, Outland, sci-fi, The Phantom, sort of sci-fi, uh, Them, sci-fi, The Thing, sci-fi, Time Machine, sci-fi, Village of the Dam, sci-fi. You look at the, uh, like, again, another one in my hand, science fiction, it's got dragons, it's also fantasy as well. So maybe, yeah, sci-fi fantasy is probably my favourite genre. Like, it's most of it is all science fiction, most of these are science fiction. Most of those are science fiction. Most of those are science fiction. Sci-fi is my my thing. When I was going through my DVD collection in the in the previous ten videos, as you will see, there's a lot of old black and white and like nineteen fifties sci-fi because that's the stuff that I love. Like I've got probably more action movies because action movies are the type of film that is easier to sit down and just turn your head off. So, well, turn your head off, turn your brain off. But then I've got some harder science fiction stuff that I love to watch. So things like Contact or 2010, 2001. Uh, there's like Inception, uh, Interstellar. I'm not a massive fan of Interstellar. It's okay. But it's still, maybe that's more science fact, I guess. <coughs> but yeah, sci-fi is my, is, my, is my baby. Sci-fi is my baby. So yeah, so there we go. That's that's just my that's my response to uh, Nerdy Geezer Lee. Um, science fiction is my favourite genre of film, and now I've got to sort of nominate two people. So I'm going to nominate uh, Marcus, who's X Files two seven zero eight, and who else could I nominate? Hmm. Hmm. Sammy G. Nominate Sammy G as well. Uh, so, X File, 2708, Sammy G. Go ahead, tell me what your favourite genre of film is. I think I know what Marcus is going to be. Um, but yeah, that's my video. So, uh, I know it's a short one today, and. Uh, like I said, I am full up with cold. I'm bunged up to the eyeballs. Um, and I'm in the process of uh, packing everything away. So um, I'll try and get another video up soon. But yeah, that's what I wanted to do. Yeah, quick video. Cheers. Thanks, Lee. Thanks for making me do this. Anyway, peace. I'm out. Have a good one.